hi guys welcome to my channel or welcome back in today's video we are decluttering we are organizing we are cleaning these kitchen cabinets finally i've been wanting to do this video forever but because it felt like such a big daunting task i just kept procrastinating but we're finally here we're gonna get these cleaned out i did this project over several days just because i didn't want to be overwhelmed but you guys i tell you it turns out looking great so stick around i hope you can find some inspiration to organize and clean and declutter your kitchen cabinets as well. So the first step I took in this project was I wrote down all of the big categories that I had for my kitchen cabinets and what I wanted to put together. Then I wrote it all out on little sticky notes like this and stuck them exactly to where I wanted them to be placed because I'm not, I, I need a visual of like where things are gonna go. Otherwise it just doesn't make sense to me in my head. Um, so that's what I did before I started decluttering. And also because I have a lot of cabinets, I didn't want to empty everything all out knowing that I probably wouldn't finish this today. So this way it kind of allowed me to just focus on one or two cabinets at a time especially if I knew I was going to swap them or whatever um, and then in step two I, st I cleaned the cabinets after emptying it I cleaned it um, and then when I was emptying it I kind of tried to organize them in a way that whatever is going back was on one side and then whatever was going to be gotten rid of I left them um, in another area so that's what I did here and um, let's get to cleaning So I've always wanted a spice rack and I've been seeing this really beautiful one online. So I went ahead and got one just from a local hardware store here um, in Canada. Uh, it's from Lowe's, but I'm sure you can find them in a whole bunch of other places. I think I got it for maybe $40, um, and this was last year uh, in the fall. So it's just it's just been sitting here waiting for me to kind of get around to putting it. And then I'm going to show you later on the spice jars that I got to fit in um, in the rack, which I think turned out beautifully. So I, I knew I wanted the spice rack to fit here, um, so I went ahead and measured and started putting it in place um, before I got to cleaning and organizing the rest of the cabinets. Now this took me a lot longer than I anticipated. So I ended up, you know, it took me a whole evening. So I ended up stopping uh, after installing it and then moving on and then coming back um, a different day to continue with my organizing. As I mentioned earlier, um, this project took me a few days. You know, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I like to focus on just one corner at a time. Um, so I don't want to put so much pressure on myself to do everything all at once. Um, so I came back the second day and I continued. And that's the key for why um, you don't wanna be taking everything all out at once and then trying to put them back in because then you can get really overwhelmed especially if you have a lot of things to go through. On this day, I had planned to work on this whole um, cabinet here with all the dry foods and spices and sort of like my pantry um, cabinets, but I ended up actually stopping really early because as you'll see under this um, shelf here, there's a big gap where there used to be a third shelf which broke off. And so I need to run to the store to get the shelf pins. Um, so I had to stop early, but then I came back to it on a different day and I set up the shelf and I put was able to get through.
before putting the shelf back in, um, I knew that I had these um, glass jars that I had gotten from the dollar store um, that I wanted to use. I've had them for a long time um, and they've just been sitting there and I wanted to use um, to use them. So I just took the tallest one and I measured it with the height of the shelf to make sure that there is going to be enough um, like uh, clearance there to put those jars and then I was able to place the pins um, and I was able to put the shelf back. different sizes of these jars that I got from the dollar store and they are perfect for um, just like storing your dry foods uh, and they're just like visually uh, attractive so I use them I had different sizes I, I wish I had enough actually um, but I bought these um, I don't know maybe two years ago um, and they're still here they're still useful um, I probably will get a few more when I get a chance but yeah I would suggest using containers like these to store all of your um, dry foods So although at the beginning I figured out exactly where I wanted to put everything, um, I still sort of was changing my mind as I went. Um, but I have to say that having that general idea at the beginning was extremely, extremely helpful. Um, so I wonder where everybody usually puts their things like I'm always curious about where um, You place your stuff in the kitchen cabinets. Is there like a standard place where everybody puts or assumes things are supposed to go? I wonder um, but I'll show you shortly where I um, end up putting things like especially that um, cabinet over top of the fridge like what do you what do you put in there it's usually hard to get to and if you keep things on top of your fridge like how do you how do you deal with that or is it just a wasted space <laughs> comment below um, if you do use that or if you have um, good ideas of what to keep in there I'll show you shortly what I ended up doing Um, so I had this medicine cabinet um, situation happening before in the cabinet over top of the microwave. Um, I know some people keep theirs in maybe the bathrooms and stuff like that, but I feel like those are easy those are easy places for my kids to get to. Um, so I keep them high um, and out of sight. Um, and I am moving them. I've decided to get these large baskets that uh, were kind of laying around before or being used for other purposes. And I put all of the medications in there. And then I use the other basket to put in like a, a junk drawer kind of thing. Um, uh, and I place both baskets in that space over top of the fridge that I don't usually go into because I don't have to pull out the step stool every time. Um, so I feel like that's a good place to keep them out of the way. I need to get into them in there when I, whenever I need an Advil or a Tylenol. I just, you know, I don't go in there a lot. So I feel like that's a good place. Um, so comment below if you do keep something else up there um, or what do you use that space for? <laughs> I'm curious. Another thing I recommend um, is to use containers, clear containers, whether plastic or glass, um, to store things. So here I'm putting in all the um, loose tea bags and tea spices um, and things like that. And I just find that aesthetically it looks really, really nice. Um, and it just helps sort of contain everything together that goes together. Thank you. 
lot of pots and pans that are different sizes. Um, these are the most used ones that I'm keeping here and I'm keeping them sort of all in order of um, size but also the ones that are used the most. And I got all of the lids that were sort of inconvenient or not um, sitting properly. I put them all in a basket together. It makes it look really nice and organized in there. I would suggest doing something similar as well. into this little oil um, bottle. I don't really recommend this because it gets all slippery and slidey, but um, I don't have a bottle for the oil and I don't want to keep using the big jug. So that's what I did temporarily until I get a chance to get a, a proper oil dispenser. And for the spices, I got these beautiful um, spice jars from Amazon. Um, they're glass jars with bamboo lids. They are beautiful. Um, I also got this um, chalk uh, labels separately um, that I'm going to be using to label these glass jars. They are beautiful. Just make sure you wash them. Um, I washed them and then I air dried them while I was cleaning. Um, they, I, I did find that they were a bit on the pricey side, but I was okay with them because they just, they look so beautiful. Um, they transformed my cabinet. So I will share with you how they turned out. put everything back in I'm just gonna attach this door handle that had fallen off and that is it you guys the kitchen cabinets are nice and clean and organized so please take a look at where I have stored everything um, the point here in this whole project is you have to make it work for you for your function, for your peace of mind and ease of use. Um, so you'll see that some things I kept them where they were just because they didn't fit anywhere else like these bowls. <laughs> um, and then for others, I've moved them around just so that they're easily accessible. So make it work for you. at the dollar store I also found these metal file holders that are typically used like in um, offices like on desks and things like that I got those and I put my cutting boards in there and put it in the cabinet where all the oils are and I thought they looked really beautiful chic and easily accessible so you don't have to use things for their intended purposes sometimes they can uh, make shift to be useful for something else Thank you. 
Another dollar store hack was these bamboo um, drawer organizers. I got two of those. I think they were again $4 each or so and I used them to organize my plastic container lids um, in order of size. So all the little ones in the front, the middle, medium sized ones in the middle and then the large sized ones in the back. You just have to pull out one drawer organizer at a time and pick out the lid that you want um, and saved it. this saved me from all the mess that all these containers and their lids were um, causing. So sometimes we just have to think outside of the box to find little solutions for things that tend to bother us. So I hope this gives you an idea. And my favorite part of this whole project, ta-da! My dry storage, um, my spice rack, the spices, this pantry getup that I have going on here in this um, cabinet, I just love. Um, these glass containers just make everything look so nice and organized and um, you can see them so you don't have to go and look through to see what's in there. I also use the same labels um, that I talked about earlier to just put the date uh, the expiry date of these cereals right on the jar that way I don't have to keep the box around I can put them somewhere else um, I just I feel like they turned out really really beautiful and then these um, chalk labels you can erase them as you change up spices so I just I love everything and how it all turned out I hope you've been inspired by this video and getting everything organized um, in your kitchen as well this was a huge undertaking for me um, but I hope that you can be inspired to do the same or, or similar um, organize your kitchen cabinets as well thank you so much for watching i appreciate you and i hope to see you next time please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much and we will see you next time